guys. In this video, we're going to talk about USFD. That is US Foods Holding Corp. Now, we're currently trading at 35.38 here in after hours. A lot of indecision coming in here on the day overall in here. Um, follow, we had two green days previously, and we followed it with a big red indecision in here, down around 21 cents on the day. Um, we have to see what's going on because we do have earnings coming up in a couple weeks here. So we do have to keep track of this. So this is interesting. Um, maybe just a little bit more consolidation here before we get that final earnings push. Um, not sure. We'll have to wait and see. Um, since we are currently trading at 35.38, um, that puts us below the nine-day EMA and above the 50-day moving average. So that nine-day EMA is currently trading at 35.88. The 50-day moving average is currently trading at 35.06. Those are going to be our first two points of immediate support and resistance. Above this nine-day EMA, we're looking at the 36.34 level. And then above that, we'll be watching this 200-day moving average up here, currently trading right at 36.52. Um, below this 50-day moving average, support-wise, we're watching this 34.60 level. That was a big resistance for us in the past in August and September. And then below that, it is going to be this 33.54 area here. Now, RSI and stochastics are both um, oversold on the daily chart here. So that is good news for us if, we're, if we are trying to look and plan ahead for a earnings run-up. Usually, um, a lot of the times we talk about RSI um, going into um, an earnings run. And most of the time we say, oh, we don't have to worry about it. We have earnings catalysts. But when we do have um, it basically in our favor, it's definitely something worth noting because that might mean that we might get an even greater push um, than we would uh, what previous what we would previously expect. You know what I mean? So now we have RSI in our favor. We have earnings coming up. Um, indecision on the day today. Boom, we might be ready to go. I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see. But definitely watch those two key areas of support and resistance. First, those immediate nine day and that 50 day moving average. That might give us a good idea um, if we're going to consolidate for a little longer or if we're going to start pushing up and then trying to breach this 36. 34 area in here. Um, we mentioned earnings was coming up. They are reporting after hours, uh, I'm sorry, before market November 8th. So um, all we have is monthly expiration cycles in here. So your November monthlies is going to carry all your IV in here. It looks like everybody's pricing in right around $1.73. A little bit of juice in here, IV rank at 15, but not a whole lot um, to really play with. Um, but again, um, there still is enough in there if we are trying to play something um, for an earnings run. Um, if you go out to your December monthlies, looks like everybody's pricing in right around $2.60. Uh, 60 you go out to January, everybody's pricing in right around a $3 expected move in here. So again, just to reiterate, currently trading at $35.38. We are right below the nine-day EMA and above that 50-day moving average. Those are going to be our two first areas of support and resistance. Above that nine-day EMA, we're watching that 36 34. Um, keep an eye on the RSI in here and then watch for a little bit of an IV expansion as we get closer into earnings and see if we can get that nice little run up um, right before um, we actually hit that earnings expiration um, cycle week. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to check us out on our social media. We have attached links to our socials in the description and we also have a trading service if you're interested. There's more information in the description below.